We speak to John Walters, who explains the behind-the-scenes process and says it is not as easy as it seems. Ombudsman's report was completed in December and it was submitted to the Attorney General uh, on the 12th, what was Friday, 12th and 19th of, of December. Whenever Matt is uh, uh, placed before the Ombudsman and he investigated him, then he may refer the matter to the Prosecutor General. In this case, it's a proper instance, a case where it have to be referred to the Prosecutor General because a person died of unnatural causes. With a docket on its way to the Prosecutor General, we ask if this will yet be another lengthy process. At this stage, I cannot release that for public consumption while the Prosecutor General still has not had an, uh, 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 made her decision. And it, uh, only after the, oh, these legal processes have been exhausted, then we can make that public. It's like any, any police investigation. The police do not send the docket or to the media and say that is what we have found that for example John Walters is the person who killed or, 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 or he's been arrested. And so. We always wait until the court, uh, the, the matter takes it through, the, through the, the court process and that is precisely what's going to happen here. The Ombudsman urged the public to be patient for the outcome of the investigation. The mother of two, Frida Ndaitipo, was killed in a violent clash with the police outside the Swapo headquarters. The struggle kids, as they have come to be known, continue to camp illegally in the capital in attempts to corner government to give them jobs.